Hey guys, I'm going to do a review for you today on a knockoff product. Um, I don't know if you've seen these online, but these are the jelly lipsticks. And I had seen these and I was like, oh my god, they look amazing. Totally not my kind of thing, not my kind of color, nothing. There's nothing about this that is my usual anything. Now the reason I wanted to try it was just because it looked cool. It was really pretty. However, the authentic product um, has gold flecks in it. Now I know that these are knockoffs and I did it for a reason, which I'm getting into now. The, the original has gold flecks in it, which I don't like. And as far as I know, it does the same thing. This is a color, they, they start off like clear and then they turn pink. Um, it's like the old green lipsticks you used to get as a kid. You go to like the dollar store or like McFrugal's or Big Lots or something if they had that wherever you are and then you put it on and it changes color based on like your body temperature, you, you know, things like that. And um, I was like, oh my God, it's like a blast from the past in the new packaging. And so the knockoffs were only like four bucks, maybe two ninety nine or so. Don't quote me on that, but they're really cheap. And the original ones are like $30 and they were clear with gold specs. I didn't think they were as pretty. And because I probably never wear these again, I figured why the hell spend that much? I'll just get the knockoffs, which to me are much prettier. And if it ends up being the same, the same effect, which I've watched YouTube reviews. So it, it does pretty much do the same thing. I was like, why not? So this is it. Now, what I've decided to do is I'm going to do half and half because I don't know about these, but I know that the ones that I use, the green ones when I was younger, I would put them on and then you wipe it off and it stains your lips pink. And if my lips get stained from this, it'll affect putting on the next coat because you won't see the, the color. So this one here is the red one, I believe. I didn't open the other one yet. So I opened this one, I don't remember. Pretty sure this is the red one. Box came a little bleh. So this is what it looks like there. Just a nice little um, package. And then you open it up, it just looks like a normal lipstick. And then you unwind it and it is so cute. And it smells like rose. So that's the pink one. This one I have not opened at all. I just took the plastic off. This is in a nicer box. And um, I'll link in the description where I got these two if you guys want to try them or they're just cool novelty lipsticks to have around. Okay, so this one comes in a much nicer tube. So this one looks like this. I know that's probably not clear, but it doesn't matter. Oh, that one pops out, which is pretty cool. It's a cool little cap. You push the bottom and it pops out like a button. And this one is the purple one. Ooh, that one smells nice. I don't know what the fuck that smells like. This almost looks like the authentic one because I'm pretty sure that those are flecks of gold, but there's no flower in it. So this is this one. It's not clear though, but those are flecks of gold, which would be really weird if they sent me the authentic product when I'm trying to get the knockoff product. I think that would be pretty funny. So this is definitely the knockoff. And this one looks more real. I don't know if you can see the difference. And the tips are a bit different. The casing is definitely different. And so let's give this a shot. Uh, so I guess I'll start with the one that's in front of me, which is the pink flowered one. Wind it down a little so I don't break it off because I'm bad at this. It instantly starts turning pink. That is so funny. And then let me try this one. Oh, it smells so nice. It 
So as as I read online, it doesn't actually matter what color you get. Oh shit! Because um, the color changes to like the same shade on everybody. Changes to the same shade no matter what actual color of the gel you get. So from what I can see, the colors are identical. They felt pretty identical going on. I'm going to see if I can turn on my phone. It's really hard for me to get color right because um, as soon as I put light on my face, uh, everything just washes out. So like that. <laughs> I don't know. Don't focus on the light, focus on me. Mm, or the couch. Can we white out the couch? Mm, I swear to fuck, I better get a new camera for Christmas this year. I'm going to be so mad. I keep saying I need one and I keep turning it down. Anyway, you can see from here. I can try to zoom in. That's not going to be pretty. Hmm. As far as pink goes, it's not too bad. Because it's not pink. It's just um, like, it's like your lips have got a little bit of color to them. I might actually wear this more than once. Uh, this one looks darker slightly darker up here and down here. My top lip here looks a little bit more faded out. This is the definite knockoff. I'm not saying this isn't the knockoff, but this one I know is the knockoff. And it is it is definitely lighter up here, not as much coverage, but the bottom lip seems almost equal. I'm going to turn on my lamp. Oh yeah. Okay, so there's a tiny, tiny, minuscule difference. The definite knockoff is lighter. Not by much, but you can kind of see through it a little bit more. I mean, on camera, you really can't tell. So if I were to wear this out, I wouldn't be concerned at all. But it's it starts off, this one starts off already it's like I don't know if you guys have tried coconut oil you touch it and it's a solid and as soon as you touch it your body warmth heats it up and it just kind of melts away this is like that like it starts off kind of like a solid you put it on and it just glides like it's like it's liquid almost and um it's basically like chapstick that's a consistency that it feels like to me it's kind of like chapstick on this side this one started off much more solidified and it felt like it wasn't gonna glide at all um, not like it was going to break off, but not that it was just like, oh, water. It was just kind of like, okay, oh, all right, there you go. You know, it just took just a slight, slightly longer time. Maybe that's because it's made better. And it went on. Feels just like chapstick. I mean, you can feel it. You can kind of smell it. It's nice. I've got no issues with it. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. And the color's not too bad. It's not, everybody else said it was like pink, like bright pink but it's not it just looks like either I've had lipstick on and I've wiped it off or maybe I just have really pink lips it doesn't really look like lipstick in my opinion uh, I'm gonna wipe it off now and see how well it does being wiped off if it does indeed stain my lips or not so on the tissue it is very pink uh, look at that shit so that's pretty pigmented on the tissue. Why the hell wasn't like that on my skin? Oh, oh well. Um, I seem to take colors really well. Like as soon as I put a color on, whether it be hair color or makeup, it just kind of, or clothing even, it doesn't really clash with me, which is really weird. But this is really pink. If I saw this, I would not want this on my mouth just because I'm not a pink lipstick kind of girl. But it, it, very slightly pigmented my lips. My lips are just just a touch pinker than they were before I put this on. Um, but nothing major. It's a really good lipstick for covering for coloring your lips. I think I am 
way more impressed with these than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was just going to be like, I put it on and my lips are like neon pink and I'm going to have a good laugh over it and then tuck these away and be like, look at these pretty lipsticks I got. Okay, I'm never going to see them again. Then bye, you know, but um, that's pretty fucking good. This is black chrysanthemum, this one here. And this one, it doesn't, this says Mixu Hydra Essence Lipstick is all this one says. So this one is just, yeah, but they're so similar, really. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to go look it up now and see what the hell I got with this one because this is definitely not the one that I ordered, but I really don't care. A Rouge Cristal is what it says on it. I don't know why there's no fucking flower in it. And if it's a knockoff as well, which since it doesn't have a flower in it, I'm pretty sure it is, it's a pretty good knockoff. So um, I'll link these two in the description and this company has other colors of this they have like purple and green and um, I think yellow and clear but again it doesn't matter because on your lips it will be the same it just matters what color to you want to show off and yeah so if you guys have this or try it or try it after me let me know what you guys think because I'm really curious I'm really curious what you thought of it and if you've heard of it before now and um, I guess I'll see you guys next video. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.